Ah, good morning. It is a beautiful morning. Well, it's actually getting close to noon. It's after 11. And it's sunny and warm and beautiful. And I really, really want to go do a hike. And I've got one all planned out, so... It's a little chilly. Yeah, I'm boondocking uh, just outside of Zion in a place, well, gosh, I don't know what the name, it's, it's off of Sheep Ridge Road, right outside of like Hurricane, and Laverkin is right over there, and right there, those biggest peaks that you see, those, that's Zion, that's Zion National Park, and it goes all the way north there, up to the left. Uh, yeah, so this is where I'm at today. <laughs> and yeah, I better get going because it's a short hike, but I like to take my time, so. <laughs> So this is Sheep's Bridge Road, and off to the right there is Gooseberry Mesa, and there is some really good camping on uh, Gooseberry Mesa. Uh, it's just a lot farther to drive to get into town, so Sheep's Bridge Road is really nice if you want really quick access to Hurricane or Laverkin. This road is actually really nice right now. They just graded it two or three days ago. Before that, it was pretty torn up. There were a lot of those little bumpy rut things, a little whatever you call them. I <laughs> can't think at the moment, but yeah. It's nice driving on a freshly graded road. It's really nice. destination is on the right. <clears throat> well, alrighty, we are on our way. <laughs> I am really excited about this hike. It is, uh, it's gonna be way, way cool. <laughs> uh, some snow still hanging out, some snow right there. All right. <laughs> the place I'm going to today is called the Birthing Cave. And oh, we're at this little uh, fence gate now, so we're in the right direction. <laughs> I have to pull out my phone to find it here. It's, let's see, follow some of the footprints. It's I've been told that you can literally be standing directly in front of it and still miss it. So It's really beautiful here, though. <laughs> nice. There isn't a well-marked path here, or that path is covered in snow. I don't know. So I'm just kind of feeling my way along here. <laughs>
right here at the opening is this incredible pictograph. It's actually pretty good size. And I think you can see that top one there is probably why they call it the birthing cave. It does appear like a person is squatting, giving birth in kind of an ancient way. Wow, it's just a, uh, it's breathtaking. You also see a swastika, which of course meant something completely different to ancient peoples than it does to modern peoples. <laughs> Just the sandstone up around here. <laughs> oh my gosh. The sandstone is just so beautiful here. Wow. Right here in front of me is this absolutely gorgeous, I mean, it's only got like four toes. It looks like a person, but it could be like a bird, maybe a bird god or something. I don't know. <laughs> wow, it's just mesmerizing now. Just so beautiful. And as I look around now, oh my gosh, I see more and more as my eyes adjust to the little bit of darkness in here. There's like a turquoise. There's a couple of turquoise ones right over here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. This really is just mesmerizing. first European settlers came here around 1850 and of course this place was already inhabited by the southern Paiute and so some of these were probably done by southern Paiute but this entire area of southern Utah has 7,000 plus years of uh, recorded inhabitants. <laughs> so ancient Puebloans were here. Uh, lots of lots of ancient peoples have come through here. I feel very privileged to come and sit where those people came and well prayed or did did something important, very important. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, black on the wall. I'm pretty certain that's all soot. They would have had fires in here. So the soot goes all the way up over my head here. Seems like this would have almost been a natural chimney. What a beautiful view looking back out. Wow. This was a 
pretty fantastic little piece of real estate here. <laughs> So there is one more cave I want to look at today. It's just along this wall a little more further up. Should be right up here around the corner, not too far. <laughs> Lots of little trees and stuff here. So we're just going to wander up here and find the other cave. Well, alrighty, uh, <laughs> an altar of bones, I'm, yeah, that's, uh, that's not creepy at all. Not, not, not at all. No. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't see any, uh, petroglyphs in here, pictographs, but, uh, I hear water dripping. And there's this beautiful seep spring all around the edge here. As you come in, yeah, it's all green with this beautiful ferns, a little baby ferns and moss. It really is. It's beautiful. A little, a little creepy with the bones. A little. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it's time to head back. Wow, it's a really beautiful view from this cave, too. What a gorgeous place. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I keep losing the trail. It's just not super clear. Okay, here we go. Back on trail. <laughs> well, that was super spectacular. Oh, wow. Uh, I just, yeah, things like that. That is what I live for. <laughs> I mean, the creep factor was up a little bit on that second cave, but still, wow. <laughs> And the really awesome part is I didn't see another soul. There's nobody around for miles. <laughs> this is my kind of trail. I love it. This is a good day. 